this week's Dead Center, I'm going to talk about the importance of anchoring properly. And regardless of the type of release you use, whether it's really whether it's fingers, a handheld release, or a wrist strap, your anchor position is really going to be critical to determining your accuracy. And the reason that is, is because sometimes your anchoring will greatly affect your arrow and the position of this arrow on your face. And it's important that in archery that you prevent any type of contact that you might have with your arrow on your face because compound bows are much different than an older style traditional bow in the fact that compound bows have let off. And because of that let off, these cams actually take fractions of a second longer to ramp up in order to launch that projectile from your face. So because of that let off, your arrow is actually sitting back here by your face for a little while before it actually catches the part of the power band in your cam that launches that arrow forward. In some high speed photography that I've taken part in in the past, I've learned that on some of my bows, my shot from point A to point B clearing my rest took about 18 thousandths of a second to happen. And what was amazing about that was for 13 thousandths of that 18 thousandths of a second, my arrow had still never left my face. So that gives you a lot of time theoretically for you to do anything back here with your face to make contact with that arrow and ultimately give that arrow a predetermined direction before it ever even gets to clear your bow. One of the most critical things is facial pressure, whether it's from a beard, whether it's from having naturally more facial tissue, or whether it's from a face mask, any type of contact that you have on that arrow is gonna greatly determine where that arrow ends up downrange. An important factor to remember when it comes to anchoring is the lower you anchor, then the lower you're gonna bring this shaft on your face. You know, what I like to teach and what I taught in the very first season was the proper position for you to anchor. With a handheld release, I talked about the V between your pointer finger and your middle finger going on your jawline. For a caliper style release, we talked about your knuckle going at the base of your ear. And what that did was that puts your arrow in the safe zone of your face, what I call the cradle. The cradle between your lip and your chin. Right here in this cradle, your arrow can sit and travel forward without having any type of contact. Now, if you anchor lower, then you're gonna move that shaft lower on your chin and ultimately give it more opportunity for contact. An easy way for you to look to see if you're having unwanted contact is to just look at your fletchings. If the fletching that's closest to your face is rippled or has discoloration on it, then most likely you're contacting your face on every shot and you can improve your accuracy by adjusting your anchor position so that your arrow travels without that contact. The last thing that you really need to focus on is your draw length. Because if your draw length is too long, then that arrow in your fletching is gonna be further back on your face. What you wanna do when you come to full draw and you have proper posture, you're gonna wanna make sure that your string comes to rest almost right at the corner of your mouth so that your arrow fits in the cradle and that your string just comes forward to the tip of your nose. I'll give you one look at what perfect draw length can do along with a proper anchor position to give you perfect clearance on your arrow.